Hey guys, this is Alex, and today I will be showing you how to install Mac OS 8 or Mac OS 9 on your Intel-based Mac. Now, reasons you might want to do this are maybe you have some old programs that you used to run on Mac OS 8 or 9 that you want to run again, or maybe, like me, you just want to see what old Mac operating systems were like. So, either way, I'll be showing you how to do this. So first, we're going to need to download a program called Sheep Shaver, and all these links will be down in the description so you don't have to type them out. So, this Sheep Shaver program, all the older Macs used a processor called PowerPC, and this program emulates the PowerPC processor and will allow us to run Mac OS 8 or 9 on this newer Intel-based Mac. So, if you know what VMware or VirtualBox is, you can think of this as the VMware or VirtualBox for PowerPC processors. So we're just going to need to click this link right here to download it. And there it is. And then we're going to need a couple other things to get this thing set up. So we're going to need a ROM. This link will also be in the description. And a ROM is basically, if you've ever seen when your computer turns on, it shows maybe like the... Um, uh, if it's a Dell computer, it shows the Dell splash screen, or if it's an HP, it shows the HP splash screen. What it's doing during that time is it's um, performing checks on the system and trying to detect an operating system so it can boot up. And the ROM, the ROM is what allows you to do that. The ROM is that program that does that. And um, so we need to download a ROM from an old Mac so that um, we can send it over to Sheep Shaver and show Sheep Shaver what to do when it boots up. So, if you are trying to emulate maybe Mac System 7, then um, you may want to use this old world ROM right here. But most people aren't going to need to emulate System 7, so if you need to do Mac OS 8 or 9, I would use this new world ROM right here. And it even says it's best for Sheep Shaver. And so we're going to click there and download that. And um, by the way, um, I'm installing Mac OS 9 on mine. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to refer to the operating system as Mac OS 9. But the process is pretty much the same if you're doing Mac OS 8. And no one's really going to need to run System 7, so I'm not really going to cover that. All right, so next up, we're going to need to go over to this website right here, winworldpc.com. That link will also be in the description. And this is where we're going to download our Mac OS 9 or Mac OS 8 installer ISO image. So, as it says right here, Sheep Shaver works with Mac OS 7.5.2 through 9.0.4. So, that means that we're going to need to download this ISO right here, the 9.0.4 and it will not work with 9.1 or 9.2. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And if you want a Mac OS 8, you would click there. Um, and then I need to choose my mirror. Since I live in the United States, I'm going to use the United States mirror. And as you'll see in a second, this file is pretty big. Like, I think it's 340, yes, 345 megabytes. So I'm going to pause the video, and I will come back when the download has completed. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, so as you can see, the download has finished now, and I'm now in um, my downloads folder. I closed out of Google Chrome, and now I'm in my downloads folder, and um, here are our three files that we downloaded. So the first thing we need to do is we need to unzip the Sheep Shaver zip file. So I'm going to double click that, and it unzipped. And I'm kind of a grammar freak, so just to please myself, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to rename this and get all those um, random letters and numbers off the end and just change the name to Sheep Shaver. And now I'm going to drag that folder. I'm going to put it on my desktop just so it's easy to access, but you can put it wherever you want. You can put it in applications, in documents, downloads, you can put it anywhere. So now if we open up the Sheep Shaver folder, um, as you can see, we have a Sheep Shaver application right here, but it's not going to really do much right now because we haven't shown it where our ROM is yet. So if we try and open it, it'll open, and then it'll close right back again because it can't find its ROM. See, it just closes right back down again because it didn't find anything to power on to. So what we're going to need to do is unzip that ROM, the New World 86, and here's the ROM file that came out of it. So we're going to need to move that over to the Sheep Shaver folder. And now, this part is very important. We're going to have to rename this. 
um, because Sheep Shaver will only recognize it if it's named like this. And this name is case sensitive, so make sure you capitalize where I capitalize and put lowercase where I put lowercase. So there can be no extension, no extension, just name it Mac OS, sorry, OS ROM, just like that. And hit enter. And now there's our ROM file. So now if we start up Sheep Shaver, we get this. We get a floppy disk with a question mark on it. And that means that um, the ROM has successfully loaded and the ROM is looking for an operating system. But the question mark means that it hasn't found one. And that's true because we haven't shown it where that ISO is. And so the only way to quit it, obviously, you so see you can't close it down by hitting X here. So you have to go hold down Command, Option, and Escape to pull up the Force Quit menu. And we're going to have to force quit Sheep Shaver. And um, so now, here's our um, Mac OS 9 installer ISO. And it's a 7-zip file. So you're going to need a 7-zip extractor program in order to extract it. And I use one called the Unarchiver. So I'm going to go ahead and extract that. And um, it should extract it to right here. And it might take a about 20 seconds because it's kind of a large file but once it's done extracting we can open up Sheep Shaver and show it where to find our Mac OS 9 ISO. So while that's extracting I'm gonna go ahead and start up Sheep Shaver again and this time I'm going to go up up here in the menu bar to Sheep Shaver and then to preferences and what well, of uh, the, the stuff that's already in here that is from a um, previous test so I'm just gonna remove anything that um, I already did in here that you're going to need to do. So I, I think that should be all right. It's back to normal now. So um, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a virtual hard drive for this um, Mac OS 9 installation to use. So we're going to click create. And then this little menu comes down right here, and we need to name the disk. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it Mac OS 9 for obvious reasons, and, but then, then the extension has to be .hfb. And I normally just save it in my Sheep Shaper folder. And the size, I would recommend in somewhere in between 500 megabytes and 1,000 megabytes. I'm going to use 1,000 because it's a nice clean gigabyte. So I'm going to click Save now, and it's going to take a couple seconds to create the hard drive. And while that's happening, I'm going to go back into my um, downloads, and Mac OS 9 is in this folder, and I'm going to move this ISO into the Sheep Shaver folder. So there, now it's in Sheep Shaver, and um, next, once it finishes creating this virtual hard drive, there, I will show it where to find this ISO, and I do that by clicking Add, and um, then I'm going to choose the ISO in the Sheep Shaper folder. So it's right here. Open. So now it knows where both of those are. And then we need to change the RAM size. And normally Mac OS 9 only needs like 32 megabytes of RAM to run. But I've noticed that in this emulator, if it has anything less than 512 megabytes, it will crash And when it's trying to set up. And I don't know why. So I'm going to use 512 megabytes of RAM there. And I recommend that you do the same. And then on the next page, audio video, um, the video time, I would leave it on window because it'll come up in a window like this instead of taking up your entire screen, which can be kind of annoying sometimes because you have to shut it down to get back to your Mac desktop. And then the refresh rate needs to be dynamic and the width and the height can be absolutely whatever you want them to be. That'll just adjust the size of the window. So I use 1024 by 768. And um, then on the next page, miscellaneous, we need to check these two boxes. Ignore illegal instructions and ignore illegal memory accesses. And then we need to click save. And we're going to have to go in there and force quit this thing again. And when it starts back up the next time, it should boot from our Mac OS 9 ISO. But then we get this error. The system software on the startup disk only functions on the original media, not if copied to another drive. So... That's basically saying that um, it's detected that our ISO here isn't on its original install CD. And the way it detected that is um, on the, the original CD was read-only. So the Mac 
looked at our ISO and detected that it's read-write, not read-only. So it decided that it, we can't install Mac OS 9. So the way we need to fix that is we need to go to Get Info on the ISO, and we need to check the box that says Locked. And now it is read-only. And now we're going to have to go in and force quit this program Peep Shaver again. And when we relaunch it, we should boot into the setup this time. So see if we don't get the error this time. And the Mac OS 9 CD setup is starting. And um, then it'll ask us to format our hard drive. That'll pop up in a second. And we'll do that. And then we'll be able to get on with the installation process and put Mac OS 9 on that hard drive. Okay, so here's where we format the hard drive. So you can name it absolutely whatever you want. I'm going to name it Mac OS 9 for obvious reasons, but you can name it anything. And the format needs to be Mac OS standard. And then this number right here is the size of your hard drive that you remember when you created it earlier. This is the size that you chose. So now you just need to click initialize, it says it will erase the disk, continue, and there it is. So this disk right here is the hard drive we just created. It doesn't have anything on it yet, but we're about to change that when we install Mac OS 9. And then this Unix disk, this contains um, OS X. So we can access um, like our applications that we have over here in Mac OS X. We can access them in here. We can't run any, of course, but we can access them. We can access our, um, our downloads and all our folders and all that stuff, so we'll be able to like download a Mac OS 9 program over here on the Mac and then move it over here to the old Mac, since we can't really get on the internet with this thing. So now we're going to click Mac OS 9 install, this is a CD, and um, so the installer is going to load up, um, so we just need to click continue, we need to select the disk that we want to install on, which is that Mac OS 9 disk I just created, select, then we want to click continue, continue, agree, and then here we can click customize and customize the installation if we want to and add and remove specific components, but I normally just do the recommended installation, so I'm going to click start, and um, now it's installing Mac OS 9, and this process will take a couple minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and just resume it when the install has completed, so I'll see you then. Okay guys, so as you can see, the installation has finished, and it says cl click quit to leave the program or click continue to install other software. We want to click quit here, we don't want to install any other software. And now we can just close down our Mac OS 9 installer disk, and we can go back into the um, Sheep Shavers preferences again. And we can remove the Mac OS 9 ISO from the system because now that it's installed on the hard drive, we don't need the installer disk anymore. So we can click on that and click remove, and then save. And on, then we need to reboot the Mac, and um, on once it reboots, that disk will be gone, and our installation will be complete. So as you can see, it's starting up again, and um, it should go to the desktop, and that will be about it for this Mac. And um, this, this is the default desktop background right here with all the little happy Macs on it. And um, so we'll have to see how that goes once it loads up. It takes a little while to load up because well, the older Macs just took a while. Okay, so here we have the Mac OS Setup Assistant. So we're going to need to go through a couple steps to set up this Mac. So first, we need to um, set our format. And so I'm in the United States, so I'm going to choose US. Now name, I'm going to type my name. All right. And I don't have a company, so I'm going to leave that blank. Next, we are observing daylight savings time, and the time and date are correct. Uh, and this part's kind of difficult. You have to pick your approximate geographic location. So you have to go through all these and pick the one that's closest to where you live. I know where mine is, Atlanta, because I live in um, Columbia, South Carolina, so I can get mine easily. But some people are going to have to scroll all the way through all these to find theirs, and it can be pretty annoying. So 
I choose Atlanta and um, we do not want to use simple finder so no we and then this this will try and set up our um, internet connection but um, it, since this computer won't really be able to connect to the internet, this part normally freezes up, so we may have to force quit Sheep Shaver. Let's see if it does. It normally freezes right here. It'll do this for a couple seconds and freeze. And so, yeah, it's looking like it froze again, so I'm going to have to go in and force quit it. Force quit Sheep Shaver. And now when we start it back up again, we will go into Mac OS 9 and... The installation will be entirely complete and you will be able to use your Mac. I was just verifying the disk again because I had to force quit it. And now it's starting itself back up. Oh, and by the way, Sheep Shaver, it, um, it works with Mac OS X 10.4 through 10.11 so you can use it on anything from Tiger to El Capitan it does not work on the beta of Sierra I've tried it on Mac OS Sierra beta and it does not work so any users of the Mac OS Sierra beta you need to install another OS on your computer like I did in order to run Sheep Shaver so here we are on the Mac um, Mac OS 9 got our um, OS X hard drive here as you can see, it is indeed running Mac OS 9, and it's running well, so um, sometimes the sound on these things doesn't work, so I'm going to check on that, and I may make a, um, another video to show how to get the sound work, Get to because sometimes it doesn't. Yep, it's not working, so um, I will make another video on how to get the sound working, and that's about it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thank you